Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've just finished building up what I'd call my dream bike. Um, so I'm just going to run through it with you and show you it up close. Okay, here she is, the Santa Cruz Nomad 2020 aluminium model. I've had this bike quite a while, but just with lockdown, I thought it's a kind of a good time to get it to kind of a like custom build that I, I want. So we'll start with what's up front. So straight away we're on RockShox Lyrics RC 280mm travel fork with custom decals I put on there. Um, just because I kind of wanted it to go with the oil spill purple colour scheme I've got going on the bike. So I haven't actually rode the fork yet, but I used to have a stock Yari on here, which was 170mm travel, but I was after something which had a bit more uh, travel going on. Uh, running Swarble Magic Mary tyres on here along with Stands Flow Mark III rims um, Solid rims, I had them on my old bike and I just kind of wanted to get them again just because they've been so reliable uh, Front and back hubs running are the Hope Pro 4 Boost hubs um, so it's kind of, I chose to get a purple colour scheme of the bike because it kind of stands out against black uh, I'm kind of a fan of the colour as well so I feel it goes pretty neat Got my new SLX brakes uh, rather than anything that's SRAM. I just feel Shimano is a lot better. Um, easier to bleed as well, which helps me out. Uh, E13 TRS bars and stem, which came stock with a bike, which I'm pretty happy with the rise and the width. So I don't really plan on actually changing those. And then we've got 50 to 1 grips. I did have the Santa Cruz ones, which were fine, but I broke them in the crash I had at Pedal Town when I went over the bars, which we won't go into today. Um, SRAM Eagle drive throughout the whole bike so up there on the nx shifter and then down here as well and that, that was all stock on the bike um pretty happy with it can't complain it works pretty well so as you can see on the back the suspension we're running is the ultimate super deluxe coil shock i did have the air but i just decided I wanted to go coil, I've always had it on my other bikes and I just find it's a lot easier and suits my riding style a lot better. So it's probably the best upgrade I've done on the bike. Um, absolutely love it, it's super plush and it's just dialed in pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that on there. Um, another thing I absolutely love would be the Fidlock bottle. It's easy, I was gonna say there's no actual uh, bottle cage needed on the bike. It's all just controlled by magnetic stuff. So all you literally do is just put it on and away you go. So can't complain with that at all. Uh, it's easy to take off, just turn it to the side and same with getting it back on. Uh, and it's absolutely solid, won't move anywhere. So really impressed with that one. Um, another thing I've gone for on the whole bike, just because I wanted to keep it fresh, was the all mountain style frame protection. So what I've gone for here, because it's a black frame, I've just gone for this design. It stands out pretty well. Um, real impressed with that. I've got it all the way down the swing arm on both sides of the bike and uh, I'm still waiting for the crank protectors to show up in the post just to stop that from wearing on there. Um, like I say I'll whack them on when they come. I have also got it down on the forks just because I've got custom decals. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but pretty much I don't want that to get scuffed off when I crash because uh, it's bound to happen so I want to keep them in tip top, top condition. Absolutely love this stuff. It's real thick. I don't know if you can see the honeycomb style on it there. You can probably see it a bit better up here. Just down there. Yeah, real good stuff, really easy to install. Um, really happy with that. So pedal-wise, I've gone for the Neat Proof Horizon flat pedals. Read some good reviews about them and also they go with the bike pretty well. Uh, I am normally a clip pedal rider, but like I say with what's going on lockdown-wise, um, there's no need to have the clips on, but for when I am riding normally again, after lockdown I have gone for the um, Horizon Clip version as well. So I was going to say, that's what would normally be on the bike, but just for going around, cycling on the road and everything, down to the park, just flat pedals. And also when it gets uh, muddy and I can't stay on the bike, I'll just wipe the flats back on. Just keep the colour scheme going as well, I've just gone for Hope 20mm headset spacer up there just because it kind of blends in and evens it out with the seat clamp and the hubs and the pedals as well the seat clamps actually a company called Carlatec and so they're a local company back from where I used to live so give them some support got a race face dropper post which came standard with the bike and a fabric saddle so just 
as it is, it's drop face, does the trick, it's perfect. On the back, again, it's Swabble Magic Marys with stands, flow rims, uh, and it's tubeless as well, so I have gone for the muck off um, tubeless valves there, which are perfect. So it is a 180mm travel fork on the front, and on the rear, it is a 170mm coil, so it is kind of evenly balanced I'd like to have that little bit extra on the front just because any hard hits it's just a little bit extra to take it so I feel like it was a good decision going for a 180mm travel fork just because I am more of a downhill rider than traily enduro so pretty happy with that decision so I have changed the axles on the bike as well I've gone for the Bergtech ones um, so it's just an axle but like I say it comes in purple it's lighter as well and again down on the front I've just got it in there as well I feel it's good nice little bit of pimping up on the bike to make it stand out a bit more and what I'll do I'll just flip it around and show you what's on the other side so just on the other side one of my favorite little upgrades you can't notice unless you're up close it's going to be the rainbow oil spill titanium bolts I've gone for to hold the disc brake in uh, and again just on the caliper as well it's something I've always liked but kind of never had the right bike to make it go and as I was changing the whole color scheme of the bike I thought well now's the time to do it um, it's done on there I've also got it on the back as well, so absolutely love that, especially with the axle there as well. So it makes it a tiny bit lighter, but I have, it's more just for looks. So yeah, can't complain with that. I have got some cool and thin brake pads as well, but I'm not going to change them just yet because there's still life in it. So I was going to save those for when I go to the Alps in the summer. That's what I'm actually going to need them rather than just going to Forest of Dean or Paddle Town or so. The Hope Pro 4 rear hub there. Uh, just got a few random stickers on here as well which I thought I might as well to get a few little subtle ones kind of a theme going on here yeah so yeah another thing I absolutely love is the Loose Riders mudguard with the uh, lasers coming out of the cat's eyes yeah I'll just do a few shots just to show you a little bit more of what we've got here sorry about the shaky hand it's literally just my GoPro that I'm holding in my hand but I just kind of want to show everyone what it is up close So there she is, that's my Santa Cruz Nomad 2020 uh, custom build and what I'd call my dream build really so I'm really happy with it and I can't wait to go riding. Um, if you've got any comments of what you like and what you don't like about it just drop it in the comments below and if you have enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button hopefully my next video will actually be some riding. So yeah, see you then, cheers.